Osama, you're in next. You need to unmute yourself. Yeah. Assalamualaikum. Okay, I'll go quickly here, um, as I know you guys have uh, stipulated two minutes, which we did not do on our stream. But in any case, uh, Muhammad Begum, they were families of the Promised Messiah of Islam, and they were staunch opponents of Islam and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They used to curse the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself. In any case, this was a prophecy to help have them repent and come back to Islam and to come back to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then the, whole, the Prophet Messiah of Islam himself said, the, in the in the prophecy says لا أهلكم دفعة واحدة بل قليلا قليلا لعلهم يرجعون ويكونون من التوابين that I will not humiliate them or strike them in one strike but rather gradually so that they may return and become the, of those who repent so clearly repenting repentance is part of this prophecy so let's go to that real quick Mirza Ahmad Beg who is the father of Muhammad Begum did not marry uh, the Muhammad Begum to the Prophet of Messiah as is clear he married to Mirza Sultan on April of 1892 he died five months later. And everyone in the family or the family repented, especially Mirza Sultan Ahmad, who was the husband of Muhammad Begum. Now, it's very clear that he repented because later on he writes in Al Fazl, in our newspapers, he said, I have received your request. I'm grateful that you remember me. I consider the late respected Mirza Sahib, and I still do, to be a holy man, a servant of Islam, of noble character, and devout. Then he also writes that the state of my heart can be determined by the fact that at the time of his prophecy, of this prophecy... Is Al-Fazl, sorry, just to understand, is Al-Fazl a Qadiani newspaper? Yes. Can I, uh, just give me one second. The state of my heart, he writes, Mirza Sultan Ahmad, who is the individual, the, the one who married Muhammad Begum, he says the state of my heart can be determined by the fact that at the time of this prophecy, the Aryas and the Christians wished to hand me 100,000 rupees so that I would issue a statement against Mirza Sahib. Had I taken that money, I could have become a rich man. But it was that very faith and belief which prohibited me from this act. So it's clear that Mirza Sultan Ahmad realized that this prophecy had become true and he had repented. Now, moreover, how is this clear? It says, it's clear from the evidence that my wife, and I'll tell you, the individuals that who accepted from the Ahmadiyya, Muhammad, uh, Ahmadiyya from the, uh, the family of Muhammad Begum. Number one, the wife of Mirza Ahmad Beg, who is the mother of Muhammad Begum, she accepted Ahmadiyya. She accepted Mirza Ghulam Ahmad al-Islam. Why would the mother accept? Secondly, there's the sister of Muhammad Begum, Inayat Begum, who also accepted. There's the grandson of Mirza Ahmad Beg who accepted. Okay, your, your time is up, Osama. There's uh, just one last thing. Just one last thing, uh, uh, Hashim Bhai. Uh, now, we, uh, I think Razi Bhai had mentioned this as well, that these have mashroot. They are shroot. This is tafsir by Dawi. Bi'anna wa'id al-fussaqi mashrootun bi'adm al afl Right? So the, there is shara'it. There are about the shara'it, and this was clear from earlier that he did not la uhlikum dufratan wahida bal khalilan khalilan la'allahum yarjoon. That the, the whole goal of this prophecy was to have these people return to Islam, return to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu because they used to be atheists now and they used to curse the Prophet sallallahu okay, alayhi wa sallam. Okay, MTS, go ahead. Okay. So, inshallah, just to make it simple for the people, whatever he said that you know the family of Muhammad Begum accepted. It's all red herring. It's had nothing to do with our prophecy. Our point is this. Now, please listen the point brother carefully. So the gist of the point he made and all the Jamaat makes that after the death of father, because Sultan Beg, uh, sorry, Ahmad Beg, the father of uh, the, 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 the girl, Muhammad Begum, he died six months after the marriage. Okay, this thing happened. Even though I don't want to go on that tangent that it still did not fulfill the prophecy. Okay, anybody has to die. The prophecy was the son will die first and the father will die after. This was the prophecy. Just death is not a prophecy for anybody. Anybody has to die anyways. And I have the reference that when Mirza was making this prophecy, he knew that Ahmad Beg was very sick. He was almost choking. He knew that he is sick. He will die in three years. I can produce the evidence on this one, but that's not the topic. The topic is this. If they have repented, because Ahmadi claims that after the death of Ahmad Beg, which was just six months, which means in uh, 18, uh, in basically around 1892, okay, this family has repented and they have done their toba. And because of their repentance and because of their toba, the, everything was cancelled. Is it the claim of Usama, just to clarify before I answer? Usama. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, okay. they had repented so that the, okay. there was mashrut, the shrut had been met, and so okay. uh, the prophecy was fulfilled. When, when, no, no, when, when, when were the shrut met? Please say that. When, in which year? Usama. As, as soon as uh, 
the the father of Muhammad Begum died, right? Mirza yeah. Sultan, the the husband of Muhammad Begum died, or, okay. or sorry, he he repented. Okay, okay. Now look at this one. Let me give you a very simple way to disprove this. I'm going to give you the reference that Mirza up till 1905, 1905. Think, we're talking almost 17 years after. Uh, sorry, yes, almost. He is still saying that I am going to marry Muhammadi Begum, number one. He said that this is Takdire Mubram. It's the destiny. It's not Takdire Mollak. And please pay attention. Then he explains that Takdire Mubram cannot be changed. He said this part of the prophecy is Takdire Mubram. It cannot be changed, number one. Number two, he said these are the Kalimat of Allah. These are the words of Allah. If these words will change, then the kalam of Allah will become batil, falsehood. I will give you all of these references. My brother, if family has already repented and everything has already been cancelled in 1892, why Mirza Sahib is preaching all of that up till 1905? Give me the an answer. And also, you, and also, I have another question. I want to add. I want to add something very quickly. If Sultan uh, Muhammad has repented, why did he not divorce Muhammad e. Begum? And why is Mirza still lusting after Muhammad e. Begum in 1905? The question is very valid. If this is true, and Osama, it is true, that up to 1905, Mirza is still lusting after Muhammad e. Begum. Why did Sultan Muhammad not divorce her and let her marry this noble saint, uh, as you claim that uh, Sultan Muhammad had these views about Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiyan? Over to you. Okay, sorry. Uh, one second. Listen, I just need the 1905 reference, please. Can we get that? Okay, no worries. Give me one second. I'll give you the reference. Put it up on the screen. Put it up on the screen, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I no and, if, and, and by and the way, that's the, true. The, the the mubram and, 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 yeah the mubram is only if he goes against the repentance the mubram is always if sultan yeah, Muhammad okay. rejects him what, re, that's the okay. mubram you that's know the conditions the you, know, you know the conditions of repentance you know the conditions of repentance I will he come clearly to you, repented yeah, yeah okay no he clearly repented as you claim he repented repentance has conditions number one you stop the action number two you don't uh, no, number one, you are ashamed of your action. Uh, number so two, you stop it. You stop it. You stop it. Number three, you don't go back to it. So repentance for what? Marrying a Muslim woman? A Muslim man getting married to a Muslim woman, okay, against the threats, against the threats of a so-called prophet? And uh, if they actually, uh, you, if they, wait, if they, if they actually believed in his prophecies and his prophethood, they would never dare get married to each other. So now after the father died, you're claiming he repented. So that, that repentance should have, should have constituted the marriage of Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani. And we have shown already that Mirza was so desperate, so desperate to get, get this done, that he was threatening his son, he was threatening his daughter-in-law, he was threatening the mother of his daughter-in-law, the father of his daughter-in-law. He was threatening the father of the girl. He used anything at his means to get this done, but it never happened. Okay, can I speak? Okay. Uh, can I, yeah. Can I go? Okay, yeah. look, uh, I think we're going to yeah. go back and forth. It's going to be really, you know, get this word, that Annoying. word, this year, that year. But the, 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 the Amr al waqiyah right? What's the waqiyah What happened? The family of Muhammad Begum accepted. And I'll tell you, my wife, her extended family are descendants of Muhammad Begum themselves. So why would they accept Mirza Ghulam Ahmed? How, how is this? How oh, wait, would they wait, wait, accept? Wait, wait. No, just how, to, why would they accept? How, how is this? How is this an argument? And Mirza, by the way, okay, Mirza Ghulam, wait, wait, wait. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani's own son did not believe in him. He didn't pray uh, to Nazar. No Muhammad, Muhammad, the Sultan, he did believe in him. He did believe in him. Why did Why did Mirza not pray to Nazar? He did believe in him afterwards. Listen, though. No, uh, I'm uh, asking you a question. Why did Mirza no, not pray I, to Nazar? No, listen to me. If, no, no, no. Listen, just one let's second. come on the topic. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah let's Osama. come on the topic. Yes. Okay, yes. please, Osama, uh, note down all the references, okay? And then you can check every single one of them. The reference, uh, which is for 1905, it is Al Hakam, which is the literature of the Jamaat, authentic literature, 30th June 1905. 
1905 and i have the original scan of this paper al hakam can you pay, can you put it up can yes. you put it up yes please we're going to show it to you yes no problem and and there goes your repentance claim So if Mirza is still lusting after Muhammad I Begum in 1905, um, where is the repentance in this? Can you see the screen, brothers? Uh, yeah. Hashim, there you go. You need to zoom in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 1905. There you yes. go. Musam Ma. Is... Musam. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. मुसम्मात मुहम्मदी को दूसरा शख्स निकाह करके ले गया और वो दूसरी जगह ब्याही गई अल जवाब वही इलाही में मैं ये नहीं था कि था कि दूसरी जगह ब्याही नहीं जाएगी बल्कि ये था कि जरूर है कि अव्वल दूसरी जगह ब्याही जाए सो ये एक पेश गोई का हिस्सा था कि दूसरी जगह ब्याही जाने से पूरा हुआ इलाम इलाही के ये लफ्स सयकफी का هم فسيق فيكم الله ويردها يا ويردها اليك 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 يعني خدا تیرے ان مخالفوں کا مقابلہ کرے گا اور وہ جو دوسری جگہ بیائی جائے گی خدا پھر اس کو تیری طرف لائے گا جاننا چاہیے کہ رد کے معنی عربی زبان میں یہ ہے کہ ایک چیز एक जगह है और वहां से चली जावे और फिर वापस लाई जावे बस चूंकि हमारे में से क्योंकि चूंकि मोहम्मदी हमारे अकारेबा में से बल्कि करीब खानदान में से थी यानी मेरे चचा जाद हमशीर हमशीरा की लड़की थी और दूसरी तरफ से करीब रिश्ता में मामू जाद भाई की लड़की थी यानी अहमद बेग की बस इस आ, इस सूरत में रद्द के मानी उस पर मुताबिक आए कि वो पहले के वो पहले वो हमारे पास थी और फिर वो चली गई और कस्बा पट्टी में बहाई गई और वादा ये है कि फिर वादा ये कि फिर से वापस आएगी सो ऐसा ही होगा is saying that muhammadi begum will physically come back to him she has physically left the family she will come back to me and my enemies will be disgraced i e sultan muhammad who married her so where's the repentance okay. can I, can I talk? so can this I talk? is wait wait this is this is a lie made up by the Just ahmadi jamaat to save uh, mirza not... from uh, rebuke and ridicule Okay. Okay. Can I go? Can I go now? Okay. Uh, listen. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Listen. 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 these okay. um, we're not sitting here for he 7 hours up, while, just while to, just to have up. chats uh, while he pulls it up can i, can I speak yeah you can you can speak while he pauses go ahead yeah okay thank you so this, this is, is all this is all conditional it's all conditional are you guys are repeating these quotes and reading them in order to start where's the condition these. the condition no, no, so was where's the condition the condition was the condition was if any of them if they repent then the the prophecy will be fulfilled and mirza sultan repented because your own ulama tried to bribe him to to, to issue a statement against mirza gulam ahmed alayhi salam but the individual realized that the prophecy had been fulfilled when the father when, the, when his the father in law had become give, give, give me two minutes when the father in law had been killed within five months of the prophecy it had been fulfilled mm-hmm. it was mubram it was conditional and the conditions were met they repented they they stopped doing uh tauhid of uh, muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they repented then there was no need to do the nikah the nikah was done it's it's completed there was no need the and the individual the family as a whole as a unit repented that's why the mother of muhammad the begum the son of muhammad the begum they both accepted uh, islam ahmadiyya and mirza ghulam ahmad alaihi salam and i i can tell you from personal shahada 
that my wife's extended family are some of them are descendants of Muhammad the Begum themselves. You're repeating yourself. Stop so it. it tells Stop you, it. This is, uh, Hashim, he's repeating not himself. My, Hashim. Not a, please allow me. Yes. Not a, please allow me yes. to say something. Yes. Please. Yes. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters in in humanity, Ahmadi community, please pay attention. It is being said that after the death of Ahmad Beg, the family repented. Now, because I wanted to go one by one. Listen, everybody carefully. I will. I, I have the reference ready. Mirza Sahib said that the, the repentance is that what this person is doing, whatever his fault is, he basically comes back to Allah and leaves that thing. And I have the reference that this is what is meant by Tawbah or Ruju. And we all know this anyways. Now, I have the second reference. Please pay attention, Adnan Bhai. I have a second reference. Mirza Sahib has clearly said that the fault or sin of Sultan Ahmad is that he married to Muhammadi Begum despite we giving him all of these prophecies. So this was the fault or the sin. So the ruju from this sin is he must divorce Muhammadi Begum only then it can be repentance. Now I can give you both reference. Number one, according to Mirza, repentance means leave that thing and come back. Number two, according to Mirza, the sin or the fault of Sultan Ahmad is he married to Muhammadi Begum. How can you say he repented? Point number one, please listen very carefully. Point number two, brother, please be, please use your mind my, or my brother. If, if the family has already repented in 1892-93 and Mirza is saying the same thing in 1907, does it make any sense to you? Think it makes sense point. to the Ahmadis. It makes sense to the Ahmadis. It makes sense very. It makes a lot of sense to the Ahmadis. Okay. Now, uh, now Osama, again, please, the story, Osama, please address, the story this point. Osama, please address this point. Osama, address this point that if the number one prove to us, prove to us, because the repentance means that whatever sin you committing, you have to abandon that. Okay. Can you this can you put up 1907 reference? 1907 yes, reference. Can I put already? Put yes, see, already there. Yeah. And second Ashim, point is, up, and second second point, very important point, very important point. As long as Mirza was alive, he kept saying this that I will marry Muhammadi Begum. But obviously, we all know in 1908 he died. He did not marry. Towards and and that is very important point. As and guess what? I have a complete list of references. Please pay attention, everybody. <coughs> Mirza Sahib said. If family will repent, the only thing that can happen is delay. Takhir ho sakti hai. But he said that this prophecy cannot be cancelled. Why? He said that if it is cancelled, the kalam of Allah becomes batil and the kalimat of Allah will be changed and takdeer mubram will be changed. I can give you, Osama, please listen. I have, Mirza Sahib said, if as a result of repentance, the only thing that can happen is the delay, not cancellation. Can I speak Over now? To you, Osama. Okay. Yes. So again, uh, this is very clear. Even at the life of the promised Messiah Islam, this was brought up. He said that if you think that this prophecy was not fulfilled, then have Sultan issue a, a statement against me. Right. And that's what your ulama tried to do at that time. They had to try to <laughs> try to bribe him to make a statement against uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad al Islam. And it was only Mubram if he goes against the repentance. How would Mirza Ghulam Ahmad al Islam know if he was going to repent exactly or not? How would he know that? He could he could take back the, the stance of repentance as well. Br so Brother Osama, he, he Brother, issued a statement to him and said, Look, you all you have to do Brother is Osama. all you have to do yeah, is Brother issue Osama. a statement Mirza, saying that Mirza, I'm a liar. Mirza, Mirza was saying that Muhammadi Begum will get married to him. It was Masrut. Masrut. It was Masrut. No, they were. Where's the shirt? Shirt. The where's shirt. the shirt? The shirt is if they repent. They have, and okay, they repent. They so, and no, it's so very it's so clear. The repentance is clear from the fact that the repentance is clear. Yani, I think second The repentance is clear. The repentance is clear by Mirza Sultan not issuing a statement even at the behest of getting a hundred thousand dollars. How, how can someone how can someone not he, issuing a statement? Uh, he, is, he, is was of he was offered a hundred thousand. He was offered a hundred thousand okay. rupees and said that he would not issue a statement. Why would he not do? He said, where is the evi where man. is the evidence of that? Where is the evidence of that? It. We have it. We'll give it to you. Where Al Fazl Al Fazl. 
Al-Fazl, right? Sure. Al-Fazl? Al-Fazl, no, right? Your own, your own ulama, your own ulama bribed him, but they, he wouldn't repent. He wouldn't, he wouldn't write a, 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 a statement. Show, show us the reference. Let's, let, let, let's, let's see the reference. Let's see okay, the reference. One second, one second. Uh, can you put, can you put up 1907? 1907. Have you got the reference for 1907? Sorry, my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I put it. No problem. Yes. Okay, Osama. You have reference? It's from Al Fazl. Okay, Al Fazl is a Qadiani newspaper. Why would we, why would we trust the Jal's newspaper defending the Jal? Tell me. Okay, if, if if it was an independent, we are using Mirza's own writings to show you that he is the Jal. He's a liar. Okay, you're gonna bring a Qadiani source to me, claiming that money was offered to Sultan Muhammad to write or make a statement against Mirza, and you want us to believe it. Bring an impartial source, bring an independent source. That's when you claim from your ulama, I ask you for the source. You don't have it. So, uh, you know, call batil. We, we call it call batil. Okay. Uh, we don't accept it. This is a, this is a false claim. Uh, do you have 1907 reference? Listen, why would, why would his, why would her own family accept Mr. Islam? Brother, 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 why would they accept just like his own? Just like his own son, just like his own okay, son, and many, wait, 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 just like his own son, and many of his relatives did not accept him, rejected him as a kafir, as a disbeliever. Many of his relatives, Mirzas, Begs, okay, Mughals, many of his close relatives did not accept him. They called him a kafir. Now what? This was there goes your close. argument. <laughs> This, this, is a very important important point the point, the point of contention here is and they and they all died without progeny. The progeny was yeah. not this is, this is a red herring, so let's move on from here. Red herring, please, very, yeah. very important point which can solve the people everything. the people who rejected no, no, the Prophet Osama, Messiah Osama, Islam from his family, their progeny me. did not proceed. Yeah, yeah. You, you're just repeating yourself, Osama. We have is a red herring, nothing to do with the prophets here. Osama, please allow me to finish. Please. No, he's bring, he's bringing up. Osama, Adnan is bringing Osama, it up. Please uh, allow me to complete Osama. Okay, my brother Osama, please pay attention to this one. You are saying after the death of Ahmad Bey, family repented. I know all of those references. I know all of. And guess what? Every single letter is with me right now. But I want to stick on the topic. The topic is this. Please pay attention. This is a question. Family has repented in nineteen, uh, sorry, 1892 and on 93 after the death of Ahmad Bey. Fine. Okay. And because of that, look, look, when family has repented, it means that now no punishment will come on Sultan Bey, which means he will not die, number one. Number two, now Ahmadi Begum can never be a widow. As a result, Muhammad she will Begum. never Muhammad die. Muhammad. Sorry, sorry, Muhammad Begum. And she will never marry to Mirza Sahib. This was known to Mirza Sahib in 1893. My question you're not know, addressing. Up till 1907, Mirza is saying that she will marry with me. Please address this point. Again, these were all Mashrut, right? These were all Mashrut. <laughs> you, okay. you guys, we're going back and guys. forth. You cannot say... You cannot say... We're gonna have to run away from this now. Again, we're gonna have to run away. Yeah, to, tonight we've yeah, been running away. Yeah, Adnan, Adnan, we've been Adnan. running away from Qadianis. You've been tonight running a lot, we have man. Been, Yeah, we you are can, running. You cannot a lot. say that we, as long. Lost, you cannot we've say. Lost, you cannot say. One tonight. final point. One final point. Adnan, Adnan, one final point. Just eight point. Yeah. Okay, just one final point. Okay, you cannot say that as long as the promise was signed, Islam was alive, that he could go against and make a statement, right? That they were the ulama at that time. They were silent. You guys are bringing this up like 120 years later. They were silent about this prophecy. They were going to Mirza Sultan trying to beg him to issue a statement. They were trying to bribe him, giving him money. But Brother, he wouldn't do it. Don't and then on top of that, that the Shahada... To. You're repeating yourself. Okay, stop it now. Stop it now. We're going to have to be... Okay. Just a point. Yeah, I shall be... Just a point. This one, inshallah, brother. And brother Osama, please listen to this point, brother, carefully. You are not, maybe you are not willing to see this point right now. I can, I can understand that. But my request to you is, once you go home, please sit down and think about this point. Number one, Sultan Beg did not repent because his fault, his sin was he married with Muhammadi Begum. And the repentance would be, leave her, divorce her. So there's no repentance, number one. Number two, 
uh, if you are trying to say that uh, you know it, it was all conditional etc etc you are missing the point in 1907 as you know volume 22 of ruhani khazain which is the uh, uh, the last book in that is uh, kitabul wahi okay this is the last writing of mirza. in this last writing mirza sahib is saying this is only delayed it is only delayed why he, he says because of, because they repented and he was very consistent in saying this that because of their repentance it can only be delayed but it has to happen if it will not happen the kalimat of allah will change the kalam of allah will become but i have all of these references with me right now so but the now, please think about this if, if, if the fact okay if, can if, i just say one thing okay no no wait wait, 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 stop, wait stop, wait, stop now okay stop, one thing stop, now stop stop osama just once again we're nerd. running away we're running osama we're running away wait just stop get, we're gonna bring second. something else for you one second okay go ahead go ahead can i just say one thing Yeah. Yeah. Go okay. Ahead, yeah. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. La- la- just very simple, right? Like your ulama at that time couldn't convince Mirza Sultan to come up with a statement, right? You're it's again quoting And Al-Fazl, it's... which is a Qadiani source. We do not their take own it. family we don't accepted. Accept it. His own family, Mirza Sultan Muhammad Ibrahim. His own son. His Mirza own Bulam son did not accept him. His own son did not accept him. Uh, Has, again, these are red herrings. Him. Guys, come on. Yeah, Let's move on from this. So, so, we've been, we've been through so, this already. Again, again, stop, stop this, stop this. Call, uh, uh, mute him, mute him. Sorry, sorry, Mutaz Bai. Sorry, sorry. We have to move on very quickly. <laughs> Abdullah Atam. Next one. Abdullah Atam. Very quickly, we we'll deal with it and finish it. Okay. Abdullah Atam. Go ahead. Abdullah Atam. Abdullah, uh, do you want to read the the case first, and then we can discuss? Or... Shall I read the case? Yes, please. But 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 be very brief, inshallah. You know, because it's almost seven hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you don't want to do Abdullah Atam, then we we just we just leave it. And I think yeah, I, I would say what enough. I, I would yeah. say I can would I say, say that Abdullah Atam, Lake Ram, Earthquake, and Time yeah. of Snake. Okay? Yeah, we can do. We can do perhaps next time. It's been like we really can seven do hours. Yes. Yeah, I I I promised the Muslims as well. They can join in. So yeah, inshallah, Hashim, we'll have to make time for them. Okay, okay, go ahead, Osama. Make, make yeah. your Basically, case. the prophecy about Abdullah Atam is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. He <laughs> made another prophecy that Abdullah Atam will die on a certain date, and Abdullah Atam died two years after that predicted date. Okay, so and and amazingly, whole of Qadian was made. So this is a Christian missionary, yeah. Christian, Abdullah, yeah. Christian missionary, yeah. Christian missionary. Christian missionary. Okay. When Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani uh, was debating him. uh he made a prophecy that abdullah atam will die on a certain date okay and uh, i don't remember the date <coughs> i can actually read it very quickly so that this remains you know this stream is very long i know but it becomes part of it it's recorded so people can Allah, go and watch can it I, later on Allah, can i just say yeah. one thing adnan yeah. before you yeah, read yeah, yeah. my, re- yeah, my on, request please. my request to you is because if we will touch it now we won't be able to give it its due right my request as, as hashim brother said that we can there are four very important prophecies one about earthquake one about the plague one about lake ram one about dulatham whenever okay. inshallah you guys like we can do a stream let's do them in the next stream let's and do them in the next stream hashim agree okay. can i just say one thing can i say one thing okay yeah. let us yeah. say the concluding yeah. remarks yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah shukran uh, hashim thank you so much uh, uh, for allowing me just give me like 10 seconds again um, you know the these prophecies that you guys are focusing on they're like few and far between you're taking the again you know the the muhkam prophecies that you know are very clear you guys are running away from those and then the mutashabihat that could have some doubt in them you guys are going towards them unfortunately again we go back where are the aqaid why why are you like running away from the quran and hadith let's discuss the quran and hadith this is so simple it's so like like let the quran be the judge between us rabban aftah bainana wa bain qawmina bil haqq like let let the 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 Allah be the judge the, and his book be the judge and of course you guys don't want to discuss uh you know the the aqaid and you want to run towards these things okay. which Thank actually are much. like Thank you. I I will quickly respond I'll quickly respond why we're running from Quran and hadith I will respond we are running from the Quran and hadith is because we don't need the Quran and hadith uh to dismantle uh Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's uh false claim to prophethood because his own writings condemn him his own writings and that's why 
the Ahmadi Jamaat will not indulge in these topics. You will keep crying, victim. You will keep crying. You don't let us talk. You don't give us time. You will keep saying, oh, you don't debate Akida. You don't get, de debate Wafatul Masih. You don't debate Khatman Nubuwa. Why are you going to Mirza? Why are you going to Mirza? What about those Kuffar who were attacking the Prophet of Islam? You're behaving like them. Okay, all these things, you know what? They're not doing anything. They are not doing anything. We're not stopping. Yeah. We're We've been stopping. here discussing okay. that for eight because hours. This We've is been discussing duty. those prophecies this, for six is, hours and 41 is, minutes. So, so, uh, and <clears throat> if you have noticed, if you have noticed throughout this conversation, throughout this six hour or nearly seven hours of uh, stream, we have been using the Quran and Hadith against you, but you're so dumb. Sorry, I haven't, dumb. I haven't Sorry. heard a single so Quranic deaf. ayat from you. Sorry, other deaf. Deaf. other wait, than wait. the ones we did not, You did not. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the ones I used. I can give you them now, right now. Okay. No, no I need. Let's let's move on, right? Osama, this will not end. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then this is. Yeah. You know, to be and honest, let's, let's Hashim, I, okay. Hashim, I, can, I want to say something go. important. You can let Osama go. No yeah. problem. Hashim. We can end the Thank you very much. Let's do Mahkan and Muhammadun Abba. Thank you very much, Sama. Thank you. Let's do Rana. Don't run. Don't run. Mahkan and Muhammadun Abba. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Yeah, go on. Yes. Yes. Don't run. Yes. 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 First of all, one thing is being said by many of them. They said that, oh, why are you, why are you discussing these prophecies? Osama, please listen very carefully. I have the quotation. Mirza Sahib said, I have given three prophecies concerning three nations. Number one, prophecy of Lekram for the Hindus. All the Hindus covered in this prophecy. The prophecy of uh, Abdullah Atam for all the Christians. And guess what? The prophecy of Muhammadi Begum for the Muslims, non Ahmadis. Okay, brother? So these three prophecies, and guess what? I have read Mirza's book. I, I, I don't want to make a big claim, but I can tell you sometimes 16, 17 hours a day. Okay? My brother, these books are on my fingertips. Okay? Mirza Sahib has spent 50% of his literature on these three prophecies. 50% of literature, okay? Allah Whichever Allah. book you open, Allah pages Allah. after page, page. And you saying these are not important, that's one point. Second point, okay, Alhamdulillah, I don't want to be a khabib, but I have finished your boy, Razi. <laughs> I, have gave, I have given him a challenge and I repeat my challenge. Razi can never come in front of me to discuss the research of the Khulafa that the Mirza was born in 1835. I want to repeat my challenge. Your boy is finished. Okay, brothers, now... Second thing, very important. Now I'm going to finish Osama as well, okay? Osama <laughs> said that why don't you why don't you discuss the Aqidah, the belief? Guess what? Give me the time and date. I am going to discuss awesome. with you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to discuss with you the Aqidah of Zilli and Buruzi Nabi. We are going to focus on the Quran from the Quran. I will prove there is no, no. such thing as Zilli or no, uh, Buruzi Nabi, and you have to prove from the Quran Absolutely. that there is such thing yes. as Zulli. And and Absolutely. Let's set this up. Let's set not, this up. Not in this stream. Not in this stream. No, no, no. Yeah, we don't have to do this. No, but okay. we're going to set okay. this up. Okay. Okay. We're going to set this up. We don't have time. Osama, allow me to finish. Osama, allow me to finish. You can talk. Okay? Now. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. No, 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 Adnan, don't stop him discussing the cards. Once, Adnan, don't stop him. Come on. The reason, the reason I said this, the reason I said this, it has been like two, three times that Ahmadis are giving us, you know, this thing. Oh, we don't discuss the Aqaid. Absolutely. Aqaid. Guess what? Guess what? Absolutely. We are going to discuss the Aqaid and we'll begin with the Aqidah of Zilli and Buruzi. Nabi. No, listen. Tell no, me, forget the Buruzi. Zilli. No, no, no. Forget all that. Tell me, no, can there be a prophet you. after Muhammad? No, 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 no. No. All right, guys. No, thank you. Thank you. Let's do this debate. Osama, thanks a lot. Let's move on. Come on, guys. Okay. We'll be here Wait, all guys. night otherwise.